Hello, collective, wherever you are. I hope you're somewhere safe, surrounded by love, light, happiness, joy, abundance, and filled with so much faith. Real quick, can you do me a favor? Can you hit that like button, please? Please hit share, and please hit subscribe, and turn that notification bell on to all, so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. Oh, my own voice went like it. <laughs> and if you like to donate, you do not have to. It is not a requirement, but it is. Truly appreciate it. The information, oh, man is in the description box down below and thank you from the bottom of but with all of my heart ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so and to everybody who has been thank you thank you thank you may god bless your beautiful souls tenfold all right so the winner is um jenny you i uh i yeah i went on her i found yours thank you for sharing um yellow wolf's uh be yourself amazing song every song by yellow wolf is absolutely amazing um so email me with your the address or p.o box or whatever okay and um and you know obviously you know whatever wherever you want me to send it to and you know um and whatnot and then let me know if you want a tarot if you if, like you know if you're into tarot if you like yourself if you want tarot decks or what you know what i mean and then i'll put the order out for you and um right away okay so email me and let me know when i'm done I'll give it a little bit after this reading too. Why email? I'll check after I'm done this reading too because I did email you back. Well, I messaged you back. I don't have Messenger on Facebook. All right, I don't have Messenger, so um, or else I would have just messaged you on Facebook, but I don't have that no more. I took it off, so I have storage, so for storage space, I don't really talk to anybody on Facebook anymore, really. So um, or else I would have just emailed you, I mean, messaged you on there, but I don't have it. So yeah, just email me at Divine Messenger One Four Four K. And thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, guys, let's see what's going on here. And congratulations, you know, congratulations, darling. All right, let's see what's happening here. Oh, oh. What was the thing? That were, the message I got was, you know, you done fucked up, right? I don't know somebody, and I kept hearing when I went out earlier. I was um. And when I was out earlier, I kept, like, one of the messages I got was, you know you don't fucked up, right? You know you don't fucked up, right? <laughs> you know you don't fucked up, right? Somebody done fucked up. All right, they apparently somebody had, um, tried to put, like, a hit out on you, and they did it to a cop. The person, or, like, I don't know if they thought this person, like, this person's an undercover cop. That they were talking about, or, per or the person's phone was is tapped or something but i feel like it was actually the person that they paid off or they were talking to about unaliving you was a actual cop that they were talking to they might even know this person and think this person's like their friend but it's really an undercover cop so they done fucked up <laughs> what can you do you know um so you're gonna be getting your justice collective whoever this message is for yeah they fucked it big time all right so i don't know who this was it could have been i don't know if it was a masculine or a feminine who did this and it was either they directly asked uh, a cop to want to live you and they didn't realize it's a cop they might possibly already like know they think they know this person but this person's undercover or like an undercover or it was like a setup or something like some about like but i feel like it was like a straight undercover cop that they they did it to and I don't think this person knows it yet. Dum, da, dum, dum, dum. So yeah, somebody's learning a hard lesson from that one. Not too smart. All right, let's see what's going on here. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit. It could be a Leo. You could be a Leo. There's um, somebody is like up all night boohoo crying about your strength, your power. Um, yeah, it could be a Leo that that wants to go put a hit out on you. I'm getting shots fired, bang, bang. I'm looking at these stars as, like, possibly, I don't know why, but I'm seeing them as, like, gunshots, possibly. I don't know if this is, like, physically or metaphorically speaking. All right, maybe you said something to tick this person off. All right, but they're very, like, they're up all night about, and boohoo crying, because they done messed up, all right? They knew they, 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 they messed up big time. Um, whatever they did, you know... they can't take it back they're worried about your strength your power and whatever they did to you or tried to do to you is coming back to them or could possibly you could be a leo or or this that's this is happening to or it could possibly be a leo that that did this that one put a hit out on you to, to, to 
like what? <laughs> Sorry. Like, that's just dumb. Or it could be like either a air sign, which would be, you know, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Or maybe a shit. Maybe it's all the above. Maybe they all did it together. Idiots. Whatever, losers. They done fucked up. You know you done fucked up, right? Death. Damn. I feel like it's a Leo that you released, possibly. Somebody could probably be... Um, somebody could possibly be passing away, bro. They could have did death magic, like shots fire, bang, bang. Bang, chitty, chitty, bang, bang. Somebody's about, you're having like a major rebirth while like this motherfucker is going down. <laughs> Physically, mentally, emotionally, and or spiritually. Or all of the above. There's somebody trying to end your strength. I don't, like, what? <laughs> do you, like, do you, what? <laughs> do you hear yourself? It could be a father figure, um, a masculine energy. It could be, like, an uncle, grandfather, whatever. It could be masculine energy with a child. And the child doesn't have to be young. It could be, like, a grown-ass 40-year-old man. You know what I'm saying? But, um, or a woman. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, they're trying to call some sort of ending to your work and your structure, your, your, whatever you got going on. That ain't happening. You're having some sort of rebirth. Rebirth. Okay. Virgo energy. Death card Scorpio. I strongly feel, yo, I, and I, as, I, as I was just about to say, I feel like someone's passing away. I look over, my candle went out. Damn, bro. Somebody's passing away. Well, let me... But they're trying to end your career, what you got going on, or it's like a father figure, masculine energy, uncle, grandfather, or, you know what I mean, that's trying to unalive you. I feel like someone's passing away, or they did. Guys, this deck has two extra cards in it. The plain white one, I wrote, um, God stepped in, it's in God's hands. And when it comes out in the right, it means God's stepping in, it's in God's hands. And when it comes in the reverse, it means the devil's stepping in, and the devil's collecting. This motherfucker doesn't even want to light. Somebody's passing away, bro. Or they did. Listen to your inner voice, you're the high priestess. Whatever you do for work, you use your spiritual gifts. You're extremely tapped in. You're extremely gifted. Always listen to your inner voice because it saves your booty every time, honey, buddy. And, you know, um, they don't like your structure that you have and that you are responsible. You know, you, you're able to, um, you know, you don't need them. They're trying to end, end this for you. But I strongly feel whatever you do, you use your spiritual gifts for work or you're about to. And it's bringing you, like, major stability. Or it's about to if it's not yet. Even if you don't see... If you don't... Even if you don't see it yet and you're just, like... You don't feel like you are where you should be by now. That the devil's a damn lie. Keep showing up, okay? Because you're about to have a major blessing coming in. You just gotta stay the course and weather the storm, okay? Yeah. You know, there's been a father of masculine energy with a child, whether it's a father, it could be baby daddy, it could be um, uncle, grandfather, anybody, or masculine energy with a child. Or also, there could be a workplace that's um, being exposed, okay? But whatever you do for work with your spiritual gift, you're also exposed to these douche, douche, magooshes. They're trying to keep um, whatever they're doing, like, and it doesn't even matter. Like, you know, you could just, just by you being you, you might not even, like, it's not saying that you're, like, telling on these people. I'm just saying, like, well, all the lies, the betrayals, and everything else that they've been saying about you, it's exposing them that they're a bunch of weirdo liars, all right? But this also, your work, whatever you do with your spiritual gifts, is like your dream job. Like, it's bringing you a lot of happiness, a lot of positivity. You're spreading a lot of positivity. It's going to, it's a main, major, um, it's very structured, okay? Um, and again, dude, my candle keeps going out, bro. I feel like someone's passing away. Somebody could have passed away. Why does that candle keep going out? This is crazy, right? It's a brand new candle. Like, this is my first time lighting it. This candle just does not want to say lit, bro. You know, and a spiritual meaning is 
when I can, when the candle goes out is you know supposedly like somebody spending their last days in a light or they passed away. You might find out that somebody's going to be is that someone passed away or is about to. Well, it wants to go back out. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Loved Ones have passed away. Okay, I'm using the moon, the moon and Stars Tarot deck. The Moon and Stars Tarot deck, okay? Um, somebody's name could be, be, uh, be Jane. Someone's last name could be Wallace. That's who the author is of this. So somebody's name could be Jane. Someone's last name could be Wallace. You could be healing. All right, but um, I feel like with the moon, like there, you're a hidden star. The moon and stars, you are a hidden star. They're trying super hard to keep you hidden, and there's a lot of lies, betrayals, you know, secrets that they're. This is why they're trying to dim your shine. They don't want you to know who you are. Yo, what the fuck's going on with this candle, bro? I feel like someone's passing away, bro. For real. Like, I strongly feel like it, and I feel like it's like a death magic backfire. Oh yeah, and then the other card, the white one is God stepped in, it's in God's hand. If it comes in a reverse, it's the devil stepped in. It, it's, you know, in the devil's hands. Um, and, but like when the other card, I set the intention, I wrote twin flame on it. It came with an extra like seven of cups. Oh, I got something in my eyeball. The candle went out again. Somebody's passing away, bro. Or they did. Yeah, see this one? It has the, it's not, like, see it says Twin Flame on there? Because, because it came with two Seven of Cups. These were out first. So we got, and this is the one that I wrote that, you know, it's in God's hands. And if it comes in a reverse, it means the devil stepping in and collecting. Nine of Pentacles. You're single, self-sufficient, and independent, or you're on your way there. There's a lot of fear about oh inheritance they stole inheritance from you maybe your father or your grandfather left you an inheritance somebody could have stole it from you it could have been anybody really they're in a lot of fear they're you know they're going through some sort of physical mental emotional and or spiritual ass whooping but see you know you made it through with this nine of wands and the upright you made it through all the physical mental emotional and or spiritual ass whoopings they realize you're too strong you're too powerful they can't um stop you they can't block you they can't put fear in you they know that you know fears of the devil and therefore it has no power over you um let me try let me go back to this other candle because i just don't understand what the deal is with this i don't know if it's the candle itself or what i'll just go back to this one i guess you know what i'm saying now if that shit goes out then there's something really crazy going on here <laughs> Like, what? Oh, shit. Did I just get that stuck? My bad, y'all. Okay, but yeah, you made it through whatever attacks they sent you. And, like, because of that, you're, like, creating your own generational wealth. And there's something here about inheritance, okay? A wealth, okay? They're fearing you having this wealth. The devil, okay? This could be Capricorn. Or it could just be somebody, like... I feel like with Capricorn energy, I feel like their fear of you getting this generational wealth yourself, okay? And what you're going to do when you have and, like, how you're going to be cutting these people off and how they're cut out of it. Or they could be obsessed with... But I want to say that what I'm getting from this Capricorn is, like... It's about fine. Everything's it's about finances. They're obsessed with you and your your finances and what you got going on. Like you could be um, you could be like an overworker. Be mindful of that, guys. Okay. Make sure you are taking time for yourself. But yeah, they're obsessed with you being you know about you being comfortable. They um trying to stop you, block you. Okay. They're they're obsessed with your finances. They're obsessed with causing you some some kind of like burdens, okay, and and always sending some sort of attack to you, okay. That's not gonna happen. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus, and I send it back to the sender with a little bit of light. Yeah, you're about to have a lot of comfort, right? I feel like the devil's coming to collect. I strongly feel like that. They could be doing some low vibrational shit to you. They're doing money blockages. It's not gonna work. I rebuke it. Rebuke it in the name of Jesus. They're afraid of the devil coming to, co to collect. The chariot. The devil's collecting. Somebody's passing away. 
the devil followed by the chariot. You're rapidly progressing, and this is going to be the devil coming to collect. This is like like the hearse coming to get somebody's body. Somebody's passing away. Let me know in the comments when you find out. Please give me that confirmation. I love when y'all give me the confirmations. Knight of Wands. They're very immature. They're very nervous. They're scared. Because they know what it's hitting for. You're rapidly pressed. Wow, bitch. Check this out. What? Ten of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Then we had the Nine of Pentacles. They're trying They're trying to control your Pentacles. What you got going on. Alright? They stole your fucking money. And they're, whole trying, they're doing everything they can to hold you back. And to hold on to your finances. And they can't. They're 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 fearing going to prison. Somebody's thinking about fifty one fifty. Ace of Pentacles. You're rapidly progressing into this Ace of Pentacles energy. We have the ten and the ace. This is insane. This is you're about to get. They're holding on to an inheritance that belongs to you. They're they're keep sending attacks to try to hold you back from from getting this inheritance that was stolen from you. They're holding on to an inheritance. Mm mm. Lord Jesus. They're watching you rapidly progress into this Ace of Pentacles energy. Bitch, we got the fucking Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles out here. You could definitely be a Capricorn. You don't have to be, but you definitely can be a Capricorn. You, or you could have it um, in your chart. They're just, they're doing a lot of bullshit to try to control your outcome, alright? They're nervous now. They're being very immature what they're doing. I just heard the imma their, their immaturity is going to be the death of them. Somebody's passing away, bro. Without a doubt. They could have spent a lot of money on some sort of death magic or like... Or something, but they went like I said, yo. Somebody went and paid a fucking. They either they either try to get a hit out on you, and they were talking to an undercover cop, or their phone was tapped, or the person they were talking to was setting them up. Keep showing up, collective, okay? And just know that, like, their attacks ain't gonna work. This is, look at, this is just proof right here, dude. This is insane. Keep going, alright? You're doing amazing. Keep up the good work. The Knight of Wands, yeah, they're nervous. The hell are nervous. Somebody could wear fedoras. If somebody walked away from their six, their six little, see these six little, little johns here, the little shooting stars. I'm also getting, all right, so, so like somebody walked away from like the six of cups, but I'm also getting, these are like your spirit teams, like your ancestors that are protecting you. All the time, these idiots keep trying to, whatever attacks they try sending your way, you know, God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, loved ones that passed away, or like just batting them away left and right. And this person literally went and, Put a hit out on you, either to a undercover cop, <laughs> dumbasses, um, or that person they were talking to about it was setting them up. This person is spiraling out of control, out of fucking control. They're in fear that they can't control you no more. They can't hold on to this, this inheritance. They can't stop you. They can't block you because they can't. What the fuck? Who the, who the hell are they to be, you know, micromanaging your life? And an inheritance, first of all, not only did they steal your inheritance, but they're doing everything they can to block your work. Like, you're pathetic. You're a loser. It's bad enough they stole from you. And first of all, you stupid scumbag. This was somebody's last dying wish. For this to go to the collective and you piece of shit scumbag losers thought it was oh such a great idea to be such scum buckets to take this for yourself oh god they're such pussies collective such bitch made pussies do everything in the spirit because they're scared to death of you in real life i pray i pray to fed fuck them up I, i'm not even playing 
I pray whoever this is, I pray when they, when, when the authorities lock them up, they get their asses handed to them. Not only do they steal this from you, but they're doing everything they can to control you to and control your work and trying to take your life. Oh, I Lord, please let them get their asses beat so bad. Have them going in the prison looking like who did it, motherfucking why, walking around like whipping like a motherfucker. Have them on bed rest for a good week straight. Because what they were wishing on you, collective, and you're an innocent person, you did nothing to these scum buckets. But love them, that's the only thing you did wrong, was love the wrong people. Trusted the wrong people. Rode for the wrong fucking people. This whole time you're trusting them, loving them, protecting them, and they were the ones trying to take your life. Slow life scumbags. Y'all ain't shit, y'all ain't never been shit, and y'all ain't ever gonna be shit. You're bitch made pussies, and you know it. Bitch made pussies, to the force of law degrees. <laughs> Don't worry, Collective. You're doing amazing, and they're going the fuck down. Thank you, Spirit. Keep showing up, okay? Because you had no idea what's in store for you, my darling. Keep going. You're rapidly progressing into this Ace of Pentacles. Damn, look at all this. They're attacking your... They're definitely attacking your finances without a doubt. They are. But I rebuke that in the name of Jesus and return that back to our bitch-ass senders. All right, they're hella nervous. Or, or you're getting some sort of quick communication about this inheritance here. We got the three of wands. We had ten of cups. You your bitch-ass family. All right. Or someone you consider to be family. You're getting... Um, your ships are coming in. You're going to be getting some sort of quick communication about this inheritance. They know. All right. They're in fear. Because they can't control this no more. What they stole from you is coming in. And they're attacking your your solar plexus chakra too. You need to um, cleanse and recharge your solar plexus chakra. It's yellow. It's located right above your belly button. Okay. But cleanse that. They're definitely doing money blockages. You might want to do a money blockage remover um, uh, meditation. You can, go, you can find them right here on YouTube. Okay. Um, but yeah. Nine of Pentacles. Look. Damn bitch. Look at this. Single, self-sufficient, and independent. I know that's right. And now these losers are left out in the cold. While you're single, self-sufficient, independent, we're, um, about to get this inheritance that was stolen from you, and you're rapidly, you know, progressing into an ace of pentacles. This is a major blessing, for, a financial blessing from God. All right, my hair keeps going in my eye. Ow. And six of pentacles, okay? You're getting a general <laughs> look. Yo, bro, like, I can just end this reading right here, dude. Like, you're set. <laughs> Generous blessing to the point where you're going to be blessing the pockets of other people. So this is giving me, they were attacking your finances so fucking bad that all it did was speed everything up. That you're going to be blessed beyond measure. You have no idea. Like, you're never going to have to work another day in your life. But you deserve it. This is why you had so many people stalking you, harassing you, trying to take your life. All for the love of money. Now these two little scumbuckets, while they're sitting in prison, if they make it there, okay? If they don't pass away from their death magic backfires. Um, and this is why. They were all being promised your money. Paid off with your money or promised your money that they're not even going to get. And if they got it, they're going to have to pay it back. Plus some. I hope it was worth it. It could be it's some karmic ass family of yours. But you're about to have some sort of, you know. It says right here on the card, completion. It's a completion. Somebody got arrested or something. Maybe a family member passed away and left you this inheritance. Damn, dude, this is a lot of money. There's so much money out here, it's insane. They're watching you, they're obsessed with stalking you and stopping you, trying to block you and everything else, but it doesn't matter, it's not happening. You're fucking rich, bitch. <laughs> you don't even know it. Like, you are beyond rich. Like, beyond rich. Beyond, beyond rich. You're never gonna have to want for anything ever again. Like, you're never, you're not even gonna know what a limit is, okay? But, like, you're getting this because God knows you're gonna spend it right, okay? You're not gonna be reckless with it. You're not gonna be, but you deserve it. You earned it. And, you know what I mean? I feel like somebody might even have multiple inheritance left to them, okay? 
um, people's houses are going to be seized, their cars, their bank accounts, everything, because there's a lot of energies involved in this shit, um, and somebody put a hit out on you to a street under a cover cop. Or the person that they're talking to. I don't know if y'all get into an argument with this person or something. Or if they just knew that they're running out of time. And you were starting to discover this. Maybe they seen that their their, their money magic wasn't working. Or their, their, their death spells weren't working on you. And their money box just ain't working now. They're running out of your money probably. And they know you're rapidly progressing to this ace of pentacles. And it was only a matter of time before you were able to, you know, have the resources and everything to be able to find ale. Because first of all, you know, you're you're rapidly progressing. And now, like, you could be a business owner possibly or about to. If you have a platform, that's a business, okay, that you are a business owner. Um, you know, if you have a platform, if you have YouTube anyway. I mean, I can always speak for YouTube. But I know, like, YouTube is a, you know, we thought the forms for a business, okay? Um same thing like so when you do your taxes they know you're an earth angel they know that you're in the upright they know you're gonna be doing your taxes they, they know that right they know that like it's only a matter of time before they get caught up and that you'd be looking more into it okay you'd be looking more into because you already know all right so they were doing everything they could so they went in like or maybe you got into an argument with somebody or something or you said something they didn't like and they went and they acted off the impulse and that was the stupidest move they made but the best move they made for you okay because they went straight they were already under investigation but they went straight to a cop <laughs> And the thing is because they were already <laughs> they were already under investigation and or like maybe this person that they were talking to if it wasn't a cop it was either an undercover cop that they were talking to to try to get a hit out on you or it was um the person that they were talking to about trying to take your life um was setting them up because they're like this person wants no parts of it they know that they're going through bad karma all right it was either your family member you're about to have the happy home happy family as well and but i'm strongly getting this could be someone you either considered to be family or it was your own karmic ass family doing this but you're about to you're rich you're rich you're rich you're rich you're rich you're rich <laughs> you're fucking rich <laughs> When you get this money, roll, okay? Just get it and go. Go to another fucking country if you have to. Get away from these people. Well, I mean, you will be because they're all going to prison. Straight to prison, straight to hell. They're very insecure. They have, like, it's, you know, they're very insecure because they know that they fucked up big time. You're very kind to this person. You're very comforting to this person. You're going to live a life of fucking luxury beyond measures. Like, your, your, your grandkids' grandkids are going to be safe. Okay? Congratulations, Collective. Whoever this is for, you fucking earned it. Okay? You earned it. You definitely earned it. And, like, if you've been busting your ass um, recently, working like crazy, you're never going to have to do that shit again. Unless you want to. Okay? Unless you just like to work. Okay? But I feel like you're going to be doing more, like, charitable work. Alright? If anything, you're going to be doing, like, creating your own business, having other people work for you. Because, like, you deserve it. You've been through so freaking much that it's insane. It is insane. And I feel like you could possibly have multiple inheritances, okay? Um, because you're a trustworthy person, okay? Um, and you deserve it, especially the things that you've been through. There could be a grandfather here that left you, like a grandparents that left you inheritance. There could be a father figure. Could have been a friend. Um, <laughs> I'm strongly getting... Um, uh, a friend's grandmother could have, all right, so this isn't for everybody, but for somebody in the collective, they're, your friend, when you were younger, you could have lived with your, with your friend and her, their, 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 their family, um, with their mom or whatever, or their parents, you could have lived with your friend for a little bit, or your friend could have lived with you, when their grandmother, I feel like, passed away, they left you in their inheritance too, because you were like family to them, And it's crazy because these scumbuckets tried to get their hands on everything. Well, they did. And then it was all an illusion. They, and it's crazy because they had your money sat back watching you struggle. Laughed about it. Then talked shit about you. About how you were doing, knowing damn right well they were doing black magic and everything else. When you do, they were poisoning you, drugging you. Had your money. Was living comfortably off your fucking money. Confirmation. Someone's name could be Ian. I just had a notification pop up on my phone. 
off of your fucking money. We're living a luxurious lifestyle. And then sitting there laughing, mocking you, saying, oh, look at the collective. They think they're making all these lies up about you. Fuck out of here. Now the truth is going to be coming out about them. And they're getting everything back. And now had they been on your side, they would have made out comfortably. Okay? They would have made out way better by being on your side. But now their masks are off. Their health is fucking declining rapidly. They're going to prison for attempting unaliving you. And um, actually, like, you know, yeah, attempted, not third degree. Like, this is, and I feel like for something here, it's, you know, um, they did unalive somebody too. Possibly somebody that passed away and left you in an area. These people are fucking straight evil. They're going straight to hell. Somebody can have a cat. Yeah, this shit's putting you in the King of Pentacles energy. Fuck yeah, it is. Bitch, you're never gonna have to work again. You're like, work what? <laughs> I mean, I feel like you still will, but like, you're not gonna have to. It's gonna be straight off of your, you know, what you wanna do. Security. Yeah, you're secure. <laughs> it's like, bitch, you don't even need to show it. Like, do you not see what's already happening here? <laughs> King of Pentacles. You're rich, bitch. <laughs> Whether you're masculine or feminine, it could be a King of Pentacles that's trying to control you. That's trying to, that's in fear, that's for, you know, for trying to control you. Somebody, somebody tried to say they had the power of attorney of you. Make it known, okay, that in, in the comments that you did not give nobody no power of attorney over you. I, Miss DMs, did not give nobody, and nor would I ever give anybody. I would never be stupidly enough to give power of attorney over myself to anybody. Okay, so the devil's damn lie. Or they could have tried and lied, paper, doctored up some sort of paperwork. Oh, shit, confirmation. They doctored up some sort of, con um, some sort of bullshit saying that they, that they were the, um, in the, in the will. Saying that they were the power of attorney, they weren't. They could have possibly had medical, but that was it. They didn't have no no financial um, power of attorney. They're going down, down, baby. King of Swords, your protector, sweetheart. KK could be someone's nickname or name. Yeah, they the you're they're, you're very knowledgeable. You're very wise. You're very intelligent. You're very um, quick witted too. You're very much so protected. Someone's name could be Mike, Michael, Mikey. Every time I see the King of Swords, I think of Archangel Michael. But yeah, your finances, your security, everything. Somebody's also getting uh, social security fraud. Somebody emptied out somebody's bank account after somebody was passed away. The authorities know about this. You're going all the way up. All the way up. Yeah, they tried to say that they had control of your finances. They did not. They're a fucking liar. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, these people are dumb. So dumb. Confirmate Spirit one thing. They're caught. Hangman. They're caught. They're fucking caught. Somebody might take themselves out that way. The hanged man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The Knight of Cups, you have a solid love offer coming in from a King of Pentacles, or you're the King of Pentacles that has a solid love offer coming in. You're about to get some sort of quick communication. Your ships are coming in. Okay? You're not only are you getting all these finance, just financial, huge financial blessing beyond measures, you're also getting a solid love offer. All right? Page of Wands. You're about to create something with somebody. Keep your eyes on your goals. I feel like you're coming into union with your divine counterpart and you're going to invent something possibly with a Capricorn or you're the Capricorn. Seven of Swords. They tried to steal this shit from you. Somebody could have stole an invention as well and tried to claim it to be theirs. Could be a bitch-ass ex that's getting trying to get in the middle of you too. That didn't happen. I repeat that. And it no means no, you fucking weirdo. They have some, they're about it, they're very, ins they're, you know, insecure about themselves and what they got going on. They're, they're scared to death because they tried to fucking steal from you and they got caught. Yeah, but you just keep going and going and going. Resilient as motherfucker. 
as you should, and they can't stop you. They can't block you. You are too protected. Keep your guard up from your these douchebags from your past. Somebody's doing IV drug use. IV drug use. They're going to draw the line, okay? Somebody um, could have pulled the plug on somebody. It could be, they, I'm also getting, like, somebody pulled the plug um, and tried to say that you might want to get your the records, the death records of a passed on loved one because somebody pulled the plug and pretended to be you. I, Misty M's, would never, never have, nor would I ever pull the plug on anybody. Make it be known in the, the comments if you never pulled the plug on somebody. If, if somebody passed away, you think that might have, you know what I mean? I'm strongly getting somebody signed your fucking name. Especially if you're in the next in kin. We have 7-7. Seven, seven, but they're caught. Because you're too damn protected. They're caught. They're stuck. And stagnant. They don't know what the fuck to do. Dumb assholes. They tried to get you caught up in some dumb shit. Got themselves caught up in their own little web of lies, betrayals. They're dumb. Thank you, Lord Jesus. They can't get you to stop. They keep trying to like delay you or something, but they can't. They, they want to know like why won't you just stop? Because you're not weak. Like, what the fuck? Somebody's trying to attack your throat chakra and your heart chakra. You might want to do a cord cutting. Somebody could be having back pains or something. Oh, shit. Somebody might go... Pew, pew. They might do 5150, you know, self delete by bang, bang in the head, like, you know, through their mouth or like through their, their, under their chin. Because I'm seeing this as like a poo, like, you know, in their mouth, you know, and off with the head. What the fuck? Do a cord cutting collective. Somebody needs to get... Something's going on. Somebody could have a... Um, uh, what's it called? Um, the heart thing. Um, I forget what it's called. Somebody's uh, masculine energy's wand isn't working no more. They can't get it up. It's because they're doing sex magic on you. And they're trying to, like, stop your love life. So their love life don't work no more. And it's because they also do too many drugs. And they do, um... They do, uh... You know, they use a pump. And they, they take... They could be selling their body, possibly. But they take, um enhancements and they use I'm sure we're getting somebody's passing away yeah somebody's passing away or they did something could have been left to you okay maybe somebody was 43 when they when they passed away possibly something could have been left to you at 43 or 39 Somebody could be born in 95, or somebody could have been 56, or whatever. Somebody could have been 95 when he passed away. Somebody could have been 77 when he passed away, or 67, or 57. This could have been left to you when you were 4 years old, or 3 years old, or 9, or any of those numbers. Fifty-seven people might get rest. Somebody might get fifty-seven years. An ex might be getting fifty-seven years in prison.
Eight of Cups, yeah. You walked away. They have to walk away from this inheritance. These people that walked away, you, yeah, they have to walk away from this inheritance that they stole from you. And they're in fear now that they have to walk away from that. They're being, they have to go into introspection, like, and, and find out that the, what they fucking did is completely wrong. They messed up. They went, they went too far with this. Way too far. They had it for way too long. I feel like this was supposed to come to you a long time ago. They need to walk away from trying to control you and your your finances and the, you know what I mean? Because I don't know, your spirit team's fucking this person up. In their own family, their own ancestors are fucking them up. Their own ancestors are completely and utterly disgusted with them, man. Queen of Swords. Keep your sword up. You walked away. The reason why you're getting this is because you walked away and you learned to cut these people off and keep your sword up. You're very independent. This is going to make you extremely independent, okay? You're not going to need or want for anybody or anything, okay? This is why it's, why it's coming in. It's because you walked away from the right people. And you kept your sword up. You're heavily protected when I tell you. You're very loyal, very honest. Very authentic. Very wise, very intelligent, you know. You have a lot, a lot of sacred wisdom and knowledge. You could have long hair, you don't have to. Well, you're very powerful. Extremely powerful. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors. And ever since you walked away, they started going ham and went attack after attack after attack after attack. There's some more money. There's some more money. There it goes. Let's see what it is. Seven of Pentacles. Whatever you're investing in, sweetheart, is bringing you so much damn money. It's insane. Damn. You could be a seer. Your seeds that you're planting are flourishing beautifully, okay? And whatever you're investing in, is give is is because you're gonna make your you're just what you're you're investing in yourself is bringing you is making you generational um uh wealth okay plus somebody left you some sort of fucking generational wealth all right you're about to get a message they're paying people the page of pentacles here they're paying people they went to a cop tried to pay a cop to unalive you bro <laughs> they went to a fucking cop and tried <laughs> like how fucking dumb were you <laughs> You stupid bitch. <laughs> You're so fucking stupid. There were some investments that were left to you too. Like there was some, I don't know what this is. Like some like, I don't know, like your your loved ones were had some sort of investments they left you as well. I'm also seeing safety deposit box. Gold in it. There's keys in there. I don't know what the keys are for. The keys are in there. It could be a Capricorn might want to come reach out to you, invest in you. And I don't mean like they could see your vision. This could be your solid level efforts coming in. Maybe they're going to, they want to work with you. That's not for everybody. But whatever you're investing in, your ships are coming in. And I feel like that that's how you're meeting your divine counterpart. And here they did. They were here. They went and invested into an officer. <laughs> fucking idiots <laughs> with some low vibrational shit trying to unalive you <laughs> and didn't realize they were talking to a cop or they um they were getting set up when they were doing this they try to pay someone to get you locked up and they try paying a cop or something like that to lock you up on some fucking false ass bullshit they know about this look at all this money bro so much money, it's insane. Ten of Cups is your bitch ass family. Knock it off. Or someone you consider to be family. I'm also getting your divine counterpart knows. Like they're they're, they're like you know, they're they're seeing the future with you, okay? They might even possibly want to have yeah, justice. You're getting justice because you're bitch ass family. Also I'm getting there's something being balanced out with your family, like that's non karmic, could be children. You're about to have the happy home, happy family. Everything's being balanced out, okay? Um 
You're going to get a message from the authorities about this after they arrest everybody. Yeah. The justice system um, is planning, it knows all their plans, what they were coming to do to you. They're in a lot of anxiety because they're going to prison. Eight is, yeah, they're going to prison for what they've fucking done to you. Eight of swords. Whatever their plans were to come up to unalive you, to steal from you, is leading their bitch ass straight to prison. And they can't sleep at night. They're boohoo crying because the one million percent ace of swords truth, quit, and clarity has come out about what they did and what they plotted, what they planted. And you're gonna have reason to celebrate. All right, six of swords. You're moving. You're moving out of rough waters and smooth sailing. You know because you need to cut two people off possibly, or because you cut the right people off. And you're, you know, they're trying to run because they know that they're caught, but they're they can't because they're being watched. They're fucking dumb. They should have just gave it back to you. They had an ample amount of time. They had so many chances to make this right. They refused to because they're weak. They're losers. They ain't shit. I pray that these people, the energies I'm picking up on right now, Collective, I pray. I pray, 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 pray that they get their aces beat by the authorities. Because they're going to try to run. They're going to try to run. It shows right here. They're going to try to run. They're trying to run already. So, I pray for the, the authority's safety, and, um, when their bitch asses go to run, and they get caught, I pray they get their ass beat. Beat them, beat them down. Beat them down. They deserve it. They know they deserve that shit. They're paying people to try to come beat you up and unalive you. Are you kidding me? An innocent person's earth angel doesn't do shit to nobody. But they want to do it themselves, though, would they? No. Because they're afraid to death of you. They're so scared of you. So they have their little prospects do all their dirty work. That they're going to set people up. Do you know what I mean? The sun. It might even be one of their prospects who's fucking setting them up. Dumb assholes. Because they ain't trying to go down for what they did. They've been exposed. Look. You're about to get a message that's going to make it maybe possibly from your son or child possibly. But you're rapidly progressing and it's bringing you so much happiness beyond your new, like beyond. You have no idea how happy because you've been so positive during this whole thing. You're getting these passionate new beginnings, okay? Your ships are coming in. And anybody who thinks they're going to get away is going straight to fucking prison and hell. They got set up. They set themselves up, fucking idiots. <laughs> You're so stupid. You're so stupid. They set themselves up. Chaos, destruction, upheaval, mayhem. Their whole world come tumbling down, bro. This is a house being raided, bro. And I'm strongly getting it. It's gonna get very violent. It's gonna get very ugly. Look at this shit. <laughs> This is like the authority is hitting like the with the when they come in to like they raid this place, is building this house, whatever. They're putting them smoke bombs, there's flash bombs, you know, that that the smoke comes out so, and it makes that big loud you know, bang noise. Yeah, there could be look, these look like gravestones, right? Somebody could be somebody could end up getting shot and shit can get real ugly. Outside somebody could pass away. Somebody could pass away. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me get this. Hold up. I'm looking, I'm seeing Graves here. So, someone with the last name could be Graves. Somebody could get shot or, or unalived trying to run outside. A house could burn down or a building could burn down. Um, somebody could pass away. Or somebody could get severely injured outside or possibly maybe got shot toy two times possibly. Somebody could get shot three times possibly or pass away like in, either on the concrete and look at the sidewalk possibly. Or inside, maybe they have marble floors or something, or either outside, and somebody could pay its way inside. Look, because I'm looking at these as one, two, three gravestones, right? There might be one, two, three, four people hiding inside that ended up get that end up getting, you know, apprehended. Three people might pass away. This could be shots being fired too, like pew pew, you know what I mean? It's a major backfire. You're having a huge... It's going to transform your life for the... You have no idea, bro. You're going to have a whole new world. You're not going to need or want for anything. You're not going to even remember these douchebags' names. Because they are so irrelevant for you. To you. And it's because you transformed your life in such a positive way. And you stayed so loving and positive the whole time. And you're spreading positivity, love. You know what I mean? This transformation is coming in 
like you know what I mean you already transformed your life already but this is going to transform your life like you're going to have a bougie ass life all right like <laughs> I've seen like somebody's cat or their dog like in like <laughs> <laughs> like all booty shit. I'm just saying like Clyde like all, all pimped out looking like <laughs> somebody could have a dog or a cat yeah you're having these passionate beginnings and they're coming down this whole world is coming down for them like they're they're completely fucked mm -hmm. brand new whole new world they messed up big time The star. You're very inspiring. You are the star, my darling. You you could be a healer. Somebody tried to do some sort of destiny swap on you. That shit didn't work. You're co-creating with the universe. And because you're doing everything and you're being so inspiring, so positive, so uplifting, you're helping. Um, I feel like you're getting some sort of upgrades as well. This is why, you know, Aquarius could be getting locked up. Or you could be an Aquarius. You're about to get some sort of upgrades. You could be going with an ascension right now. Guys, can we do the likes up, please and thank you? Please hit the like button. Please and thank you. Thank you. Queen of Swords. Keep your sword up against these douchebags, okay? They know you're very powerful, okay? They're very they they found out the be they found out the truth about you. They were lied to about you. You're your person. They were lied to. They said that you were like, you know. A horrible person this that and the other no they knew the truth somebody was also going around telling your person that you're in a relationship and or that you sold your body or you did some weird shit they now know that's not the fucking truth at all somebody could be a surfer that was random i'm seeing this as a surfboard you're standing in your power as well Chaos, destruction, upheaval, mayhem. Thank you. Knight of Swords. They just want to cause some sort of fucking drama for you. They're lying. They, they said all this bullshit about you. They're spying on you, but they're also being watched. They're... Whatever, losers. We had the Five of Cups turn grief, pain, and sorrow, agony. They're watching you in grief, pain, and sorrow, agony. Seeing you rapidly progress. Knight of Swords. You have somebody coming rushing in to protect you. Could be a Capricorn. Don't have to be. From whatever they stole from you. They know the truth about all this fucking drama these people were lying on you about. Eight of Wands. You're getting some sort of um, rapid progression. And some sort of rapid communication about this, okay? About what they stole from you because they've been exposed. You're like rapidly, rapidly progressing into this fucking, yeah, alright, and then Queen of Cups, you're very loving, you're a very empathic person, very loving, nurturing, caring person. Now they're realizing they walked away from your exes, realizing, and, and, and everybody else from the past are watching you, they're spying on you, douchebags are being watched, spying on you, and they're like now, they're here crying up all night, realizing that they walked away from like the best thing uh, they've ever had in their life, and they're in grief, pain, sorrow, agony, watching you, okay, but there's a, there's a Capricorn that's watching you, I feel like this is your person, this isn't, well, it doesn't have to be, but, um, but I feel like that for somebody out there, for someone, your person's a Capricorn. It don't have to be, but they're, these people are watching you, they're, they see how educated you truly are, but they're, they're too busy focused on you, not focusing on the fact that they're fucking paying off a cop to kill you. <laughs> so stupid. But yeah, your divine counterpart's watching you, they see how intimidating you are, they see how you handle things so, um, you know, so divinely, so lovingly, so nurturingly, that they realize now these people are just a bunch of drama-ass, little hating ass hoes that were, you know, um cause all this, this bullshit you're also the cops know about how they were paying people to spy on you obsessively spying on you stalking you following you everywhere you go you know um in your in your device but they were they're too busy focused on you they didn't realize that you know they were being watched doing this too 
now they're in grief, pain, sorrow, and agony because they're told they were also telling pe your your person and people around you that you were very slow, that you were like, no, you're very much so educated. I don't care if you're a fucking second grade dropout. You're extremely intelligent. Somebody might even want to pay you for some some of your education. I mean, I don't know something that your knowledge that you know or something. I don't fucking know something like that. This is the outcome, guys. What's the outcome of this situation, please? Thank you. Can I get one more for the outcome? Please, and thank you, sir. Three of swords. They're heartbroken. Bitch, you got the nerve to talk about heartbreak. That's the old song. They're exposed, so now they're heartbroken. They're in deep emotional pain. They're a fucking bunch of douchebags, whatever. You're about to hear about some sort of quick communication about, yeah, you're a healer. You're an earth angel. There's, you know, you might need, you're very patient during this, too. You're, um, you healed very patiently, too, okay? Um, you, and you did everything the right way. You did everything in the upright. And even though, no matter how hard you've had it and how, you know, um, how hurt you were, you didn't hurt other people, all right? You still spread so much love and positivity, you know? Even when you're going through major things, you would never guess it because you don't show it, right? Because you know what it's like to hurt. And, you know, you know that, like, you're, um... You're well aware of the fact that, you know, your energy gets pushed on to other people too. Like, and, you know, um, you know what it's like to hurt, so you don't want other people to hurt. And instead, you just, you deal with your own pain, you know, by yourself. And, you know, you don't, you don't express it to other people. Like, instead, you know, you stay positive and uplifting, even when you're hurting the worst, okay? Um, because you don't want other people to feel that pain, like, that you feel. You know what I mean? You are an earth angel, darling. Let me get you some angel messages and Jesus messages for you. There you go. There you go. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away. What is the col- uh, you have messages for the collective, please, and thank you. This is going to be equal give and take uh, relationship too. For somebody out there, you know, the person that they paid off was your fucking person. The person they tried to get to on the live is your person. And they're like an undercover cop or like a federal agent or something. Or ATF, CIA, something like that. Somebody could be a sheriff. Or something. There is a law enforcement that's going to be arrested at work. They're going to be completely humiliated. Or like a judge or somebody that's going to be, they're going to be completely humiliated. They're getting, um, they're getting arrested at their workplace. For what they've done now. Can we get this just for the collective, please, I thank you? Raise or promotion. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anything else for the collective, please, thank you? No? Let me make sure there was nothing else here. Okay, yeah, that's it, let's see. Words of abundance, yeah, talk about abundance. You're about to be, you're rich, bitch. <laughs> you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful, positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in a loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you attract for yourself and others. Absolutely. Here, you have no idea what you're attracting, sweetheart. You are rich. You are rich, bitch. <laughs> no, I mean, stop playing, but for real, you are. You're rich as fuck. You don't even know it. You're rich, and it's coming to you, but you're about to find out. No doubt for a fact. Your faith, your faith hath saved you. Go in peace. Luke 7.50. Your faith always does. Always. Always. No matter what you're going through, you just know that God got your back like a bra strap, because he does. Release jealousy. Jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something, and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. This is for a cross watcher for sure. Jealousy is such an ugly color, and it does not look good on anybody. This is definitely for a cross watcher. Stop being a hating ass hoe. 
jealousy ass mofo. I will not leave you um, comfortless. I will come to you. John 14, 18. Someone say it could be John. Four, somebody could be born on the 14th or the 18th. Raise our promotion. Congratulations. And increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. You're doing amazing. Keep showing up. Don't allow these people to trick you out of your spot. You're not going to. You're too, you're too fucking amazing for that. You already know. Forgive and you shall be forgiven. Luke 6.37. Somebody think it could be Luke. Beautiful. That's, for, that's another one for um, Cross Watcher. You know. Little hating assholes. Alright guys, that's absolutely amazing. You're rich, bitch. <laughs> you don't even know it. Alright, I'm gonna leave it here. Till next time. Remember, God loves you, so do I. Spread love, not hate always. And please do not forget to give God Jesus, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that Oh guys, real quick. Angels, ancestors, loved ones that passed away. The utmost love, respect, gratitude, and appreciation for all that they do in our lives because they're moving mountains for us and getting ready to rain down miracles. Alright, um, also make sure you cleanse your energy because after these cross watchers see this reading, they're gonna be very jealous and envious of you. Alright, so cleanse your energy, protect your energy, okay? You know what I mean? Because especially with that jealousy card coming out, that's the first time I've ever seen that. So, uh, yeah, and just because, like, the they're going to be hating on you, alright? Because these people are all about money, that's all they give a fuck about, all they care about. So, they're going to, of course, you already know what it's hitting for. So, just protect your energy, cleanse your energy, um, and whatnot, okay? But yeah, your patience is, and your faith is... <laughs> paying off tremendously beyond measures all right guys and please um spread love not hate always and please not forget to keep, um hit that like button please hit like please hit share please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all so you can always be updated whenever i put another message out there for you guys and if you like to donate you do not have to it is not a requirement but it is truly appreciate it the information is in the description box down below and thank you from the bottom up um but with all of my heart ahead of time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so and to everybody who has been thank you thank you thank you may god bless your beautiful souls tenfold it definitely does help out a lot especially because you know you know, I only got, you know, I'm just starting this, this channel, so I only had, you know, two months, so it does definitely help out tremendously, thank you guys, alright guys, um, what was I gonna say, oh, yeah, Jenny, um, or, or, yeah, your, uh, email me, okay, don't forget to email me, uh, address, or, you know, um, a PO box, or wherever you want me to send, and let me know if you want tarot, if you're interested in your own tarot decks or not, alright, all right, and congratulations. All right, guys. And make sure you're subscribed because I do giveaways every month. Okay? Um, but, yeah, Jen was the lucky one this month. So, make sure you... But it's for subscribers only. Yeah. It's to give back to you for being so given to me. For all your love and support. All right? All right, guys. God bless. Good night, sweet dreams.